I am Michelle Alexander. I am an art educator and artpreneur, and my talk is a little, it's a little different from everyone else's. Um, so um, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about my story. Okay. So Heather, we are ready. You can hit the play at any moment. As a black woman teaching and being a mother, I just want to expose people of all ages to artwork that they've never seen or thought about. Everyone should be inspired and then put their own perspective on their artwork. While I was in college, uh, that's when I went to my first museum gallery and I noticed people didn't look like me. You know, I had an assignment to do. I was there and my son was there, of course, with me, but people didn't look like me. And I wanted to eventually teach children that look like me, expose them to what I didn't have. So it just it's just second nature to expose children to all types of art, especially black art. Their art is influenced by my art. When I started teaching in 2005 with my younger kids, K first grade, I used to give them, and I still do, I give them coloring books. I would never find a coloring book that was affordable because I was buying like 60 coloring books that was geared toward black and brown children. And I just, you know, I just put it in the back. I would Google it. I was still nothing. And I needed to create something. Honestly, it only took me less than a week to do both of them. It connects with the children because when they, when I'm vending, when I'm out and about selling my book or when someone purchases it on Amazon, the children are saying, oh my, every time I turn a page, that looks like so-and-so. They're naming people um, that that looks like uh, um, the boys and the girls on the pages. And I have quotes in there also. So they connect with it, whether they're black, brown, purple, yellow, they love it. All they ask is if I'm the author. Did I create it? And yes, it's awesome. Thank you for creating it. And what am I gonna create for? <laughs> It's not only doing the art, it's the process. And it's learning, tolerating everyone's artwork, everyone's culture, everyone's opinion and perspective in the art room. If I can just expose, or they can recognize something, for instance, a Basquiat crown, or, oh my gosh, that's Keith Haring. We learned that in art. When they make those connections, I know I did what I was supposed to do because they might not get that anywhere. They might not see a Romare Bearden, a Faith Ringgold, um, a Jacob Lawrence piece, but they'll think, oh, I know I saw that in his day. I know I saw that in Miss Alexander's room. So that was my uh, segment that ABC Localish did. And I thought it was important, but reflecting on my experiences, keep creating resonates with me. Now I give honor to God and ancestors, but the but in these moments, um, I didn't realize that through adversity, rejection, too many no's, not fitting in or standing out, it motivated me. Um, as a teenage mom, I wasn't able to attend my ideal um, college that I wanted to go to out of state. That was plan A. Plan B, I decided to stay in state and I wanted to uh, study art education, but I didn't receive the family housing with my son. So on to plan C, I transferred to a campus close to me and I decided to major in fine arts. It was a struggle to afford art supplies while receiving assistance, um, working various jobs, my families and friends, they helped. Um, but I was at a disadvantage. I didn't know the knowledge, the content of art. Um, I didn't have any self-confidence in myself. And that's when I decided I wanted to teach students through art. I graduated with a BA in fine arts. I learned about the alternate route program, but I had to take a test that was about the art knowledge. And I told you guys I had an issue with that, but I, um, 
I asked a coworker of mine at one of those many jobs and she invested in me. She didn't even look like me and she invested in me. And turns out she was an adjunct professor and she taught me everything I needed to know. I passed the test. I began teaching. Somebody told somebody that they needed an art teacher. Um, and from there, um, I decided to take my own advice. I decided to uh, teach art and exhibit my art, live paint. I opened my own gallery. In 2018, I've been exhibiting and I take what I've learned and I introduce my students of all ages. I taught K through 12 of alternative education in all male, middle school and high school. And in my art room, it is a safe place. So while creating, walls come down, vulnerability happens and openness happens. So representation matters. I had to live what I spoke. How are you gonna invest in your community? In those coming behind you, how will you represent and inspire others? How are you going to keep creating. And I'm Michelle. Those are all the ways you can contact me. I am the poor artist. That is my name. <laughs> so thank you for allowing me to talk Black Ignite. Thank you. Woo, Michelle. <laughs> Look, first I, I have some points and people were like, hey, I didn't know we could do a video. I like how you broke. The I don't think there in art were any rules. Look, don't create the will. Don't recreate the will. Hey, 